All right, in this example, we're going to find the equation of an ellipse, assuming it's centered at the origin. And we'll also assume that it has a vertical major axis of length 8 and a horizontal minor axis of length 2. So I'm going to sketch a quick little picture here. Okay, so it's, it's got a, we said a major axis of length 8. And again, a major axis is simply the length, uh, it's the distance from one vertex to the other vertex. So it's centered at the origin, so that tells me that to go from one vertex, we would have to go four units up, and well, four units down. So one vertex will be at zero, negative four, and another one will be at zero, positive four. That'll give us a distance of eight units. The uh, minor axis has a length of 2, which means we go one unit to the right and one unit to the left. So the uh, covertices uh, will be at negative 1, 0, and 1, 0. Okay, so just to refresh you on some of the terminology there. So there's the sketch of our ellipse. And, and we, we know in this case it's going to be of the form y squared over a squared plus x squared over b squared equals 1. And in this case, uh, our a value is going to be larger than our b value. So all we really have to do is just figure out the values of a and b. And to do this, um, when it's centered at the, the origin, the distance to the, to one of, when we look at the distance from the origin to one of the vertices, that's going to be our a value. So in this case, our a value simply equals 4. And our b value is going to be the distance from where it's centered, which again is at the origin, to one of our covertices. So in this case, that has a length of 1. And that's going to be our b value. So nothing else to do now other than plug those in. So we would get y squared over 4 squared plus x squared over our b value, which is 1 squared, equals 1. And of course, we could simplify this down a little bit and simply say it's y squared over 16 plus x squared over 1 equals 1. And now we have the equation of our ellipse.